So a philosophy we have in my lab is that we're always looking to improve on maybe a method we've designed or maybe a, an existing method. And in, when we first reported PILs in SPEMI, uh, we developed, uh, we were using a polymerization uh, method that came from uh, David Maceres' group in Spain, where he had actually synthesized linear polymers uh, using AIBN chemistry. And this method was great because you can achieve a uh, high yield of your polymer. Uh, it's a very simple reaction. Once we take our polymer, we can simply dilute that in a very small amount of organic solvent and coat our fiber. The problem was when we start working with more complex matrices, such as milk, uh, environmental samples, um, uh, cell lysates, uh, many of these uh, particular ionic liquids would dissolve quite readily in these uh, matrices. And so we needed to develop polymers that were more, that had greater structural integrity. And cross-linking was very important. Well, if you use that, uh, that initial method, uh, you actually form a cross-link polymer and you can no longer coat this, you can never get it out of your round bottom flask to coat on your, on your fiber. So we developed recently, uh, several years ago, a method where we take an IL monomer, the IL crosslinker, we mix these with a UV initiator, we then coat this mixture on a spemi fiber, and we subject this to a UV reaction, essentially doing curing of the polymer on the spemi fiber. This ensures that we have a very reproducible uh, coating, or uh, polymeric coating, and that we can actually make fibers more reproducible from batch to batch.